Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script an overhead rank GUI on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is head right on into the game, and as you'll see right above our head, it'll display our rank in the group. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we need to do is actually get our overhead rank GUI. And all this is, is a billboard GUI with a text label. So I already have mine made, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in the server script service, but you can make one if you want. It's just a billboard GUI, and then inside of it we have a text label. So after you have that GUI made, all you have to do is create a script under server script service. Uh, and for this, I'm just going to name it overhead GUI, but you can name the script whatever you'd like. And we're just going to drag this model, this overhead GUI model, I'm just going to drag it right underneath the script so we can have an easy reference to it. And that's all we have to do modeling wise, building wise, physically, now we can actually get into coding this GUI. So the first thing we need to do is create a new variable, and I'm just going to call it group ID, and this is going to be your group ID. So whatever group you want, maybe you have a cafe group or a hotel group or anything like that, you put the ID of your group in this variable right here where I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is how you actually specify where to pull the ranks from. So after this, we're going to grab into the player added event. So I'm going to say game.players.playerAdded, and I'm just going to connect that to a function. And inside of that function, we're going to get the player. So the player that just joined the game, we have them right here. And now what we want to do is get when their character is added. So when they respawn or when they join for the first time and their character is added, that's what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to say added. And I'm going to connect that to another function. And we're going to grab the character as our parameter in here. And then in here, we can actually run the code that will happen. And it'll make the GUI come up, the overhead GUI. It'll parent it to the player's head. So all we're going to do, we're going to clone the GUI from the script. So I'm just going to say local GUI clone equals script.overheadGUI colon clone, just like that. And then GUI clone.parent equals character.head and this just sets the GUI parent to the head of the player's character and the reason this works is because in this GUI right here I have this property right here it's called extents offset world space uh, and all this does is it offsets it so on the y-axis I go five studs above the character's head so we can just set the parent to the character's head and as long as we have this y set to something a little bit greater than zero just so that we can shift it up a little bit this will work perfectly so we have that, it'll set the parent to the character.head. After this, we're just gonna say local information label equals GUI clone dot information label. And all this does is it gets this label right here. This is the text label that actually says the player's name and the rank that they have in the group. Uh, and after this, we only have two more lines in the script, very simple stuff. We're just gonna get the player's rank in the group that we specified. So local player rank equals player colon get rolling group and then we're just going to pass in that group ID again it could be whatever group ID you want for your cafe hotel any group but we need to make sure that we specify that so that it'll pull from the right group and then after this we actually just want to set the label the text of that information label so I'm just going to say information label dot text equals so we're going to get the player dot name so if I go in my name's orange dude 4221 so we're going to get the name, so orange dude 4221 and then we type two dots, two periods, and this concatenates the string. It adds another thing to the string. It's the same thing as saying plus, but in Lua we have to do it with two dots. And I'm just going to do two quotes and I put a dash in there as kind of like a separator between the player's name and the rank, but you can make this whatever you'd like. And then I'm going to do two dots again to add this to the string and then I'm just gonna pass in the player rank, just like that. So all that would come up as, so for me anyway, orange dude 4221 dot dot, and then there's a little dash, right? So there's a dash that separates it, and then my rank in the group. So if it was my row scripter group, I'd be owner. If it was my cafe group, I'd be CEO. Any group, whatever the rank name is in the group. And we can actually go and test this out right now. Um, all we have to do is go in, and immediately when we'll join, it'll come up like that. And this even works when we reset our character. So if we reset just like that, as you'll see, we have the UI still comes up above our head. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the Pacemen link with the code and the Roblox model link with everything shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys later.